welcome to excitement. Welcome to life. Welcome to Somerville Highlander Ladies Varsity Basketball. This is Jim and Bob here to call the action for you, or at least pretend that we're doing that. We never really know how. Bob, very exciting. Well, Jim, today is definitely not going to be a picnic for the Lady Highlanders. They're taking on the Cambridge Ridge and Latin Falcons, and they are undefeated in the Greater Boston League at 4-0 and 4-1 overall. Jim, the winner of this game will take over sole place, first place in the Greater Boston League. Huge game tonight for the Lady Highlanders. That will be big, Bob, and the Cambridge games are always big. Um, I don't recall a time that some of them in Cambridge have ever been this close in the running uh, that you and I have been working with this team, and that's been uh, seven years now. I know last year, when Somerville played Cambridge, the first game, Somerville lost by six points, 47 to 41. Later in the season, here at the Fieldhouse Gym on February 4th, they lost, Somerville lost 55 to 79. So look for a lot of revenge, Bob, in the blood for Somerville, and they have the weapons this year to pull it off. Jim, the Lady Highlanders are averaging 59.9 points per game. That's how much they put up on the scoreboard. And on the defensive side of the ball, they give up about 37.7 points per game. So in Cambridge, no small task. They got big, big forwards, tall forwards that can get the rebounds down low. And of course, they have superstar number 35, tri-captain Latia Linton, Jim. And Bob, you mentioned to me just before the game that you went over to talk to the head coach for Cambridge to get some starting lineup information. And she was talking with one player, one player only, way on the other side of the, way on the other side of the gym. And that player was Latia Linton. And you came back to me, Bob, and you said what? Well, I went over to get the, the lineup from the Cambridge coach, Mrs. Davis, very nice lady. And Latia Linton, when I walked over there, I was all dressed up in my red, white, and blue. When I walked over there, Latia Linton shot me the evil, evil look. I've never been in, I've never been shown that look before in my life, Jim, and I was mortified. That is scary, Bob. Too bad Captain Summerville wasn't there to bail you out. Uh, frightening thing, Bob. It's always nice to see Captain Summerville. A part of me deep down inside really wishes that he didn't show up at that last game against Arlington Catholic High School because I don't recall a time that he's ever come to two consecutive home games. It just doesn't happen. The guy's too busy. All right. So most likely he's not here tonight, and it's too bad because this would have been a great time to have him sort of save his appearance for the year and come down today. But Summerville, again, has the weapons to pull it off on their own. This place is sold out. we got the red, white, and blue behind us, which is what we asked for. Look at the support. Girls, raise the balloon, girls. Look at this support. That is awesome. This is beautiful. That is awesome. <laughs> Unbelievable. And you, the whole gym, the whole gym is just sold out. You've never seen anything like this. As we take a look now on the floor, the captains for each team talking to the referees, getting things straightened out, understanding the rules. There'll be no rabbit punches, no kidney punches and such. Well, January, Jim, this is the first game in January for the Lady Highlanders, and January is going to be a huge...